as much as I love this job, can I be real with y'all? It can definitely get stressful. I mean, there are so many different ways to relieve stress, but I told my writers to stop making so many sex jokes. So we're just gonna talk about therapy. <laughs> Straight up, they nasty. <laughs> in so many cultures, therapy is taboo. And in my experience, Indians don't really believe in therapy. And it actually makes sense. You don't need to deal with that soul-sucking feeling of loneliness when you never get the chance to be alone. <laughs> when I told my parents I was going to therapy, they were like, we didn't bloody need therapy growing up, okay? <laughs> you're making us look like bad parents, you dumbheads, you're breaking our heart. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you're right. Not getting therapy has worked out really well for you guys. <laughs> It was hard finding a therapist. I had to find someone that fit my schedule, someone I could trust, and a lot of people told me it would be good to find a woman, particularly a woman of color. But then I found this white woman, and I was like, nah, I'm sure she's fine. She knows what's up. <laughs> and then the first thing she did was congratulate me on my marriage to Nick Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I go to my therapist, <laughs> therapist, I'm always honest with her. But in the back of my head, I'm always like, should I tell a joke right now? <laughs> do I sound smart? Like, does she hate me? Does she like me? Does she think I'm smart? <laughs> it's actually a lot like when I do the monologue on this show. Do y'all like me? You think I'm smart? Do I'm smart? Am I doing that? Yes, I'll bomb so hard at therapy that I'm more traumatized than when I walked in. <laughs> You're not supposed to feel worse when you leave. That's what Chick-fil-A is for. <laughs> now, you all know I'm cheap. So whenever I see her, I think, great, my daddy issues just cost me $150. <laughs> Usually, if you have daddy issues, you can make a quick $150. Just like, come into the stage and cinnamon. She's hot, she's tight, and she never learned to ride a bike. <laughs> It's good that therapists keep a poker face, because if I walk into the room after the last person and I see my therapist wiping tears away, I'm going to get competitive. <laughs> it's like, oh, hold on. You think that person has a sad life? Well, okay, wait till you get a load of this loser. <laughs> okay. Well, my therapist is awesome. Like, sometimes she'll text me random motivational things like, just breathe, or, or, <laughs> Be kind to yourself. And I know I should try to take that advice in, but all I keep thinking is that if she photoshopped those texts onto pictures of sunsets, she would have like a million Instagram followers. <laughs> uh, there are downsides to going to therapy. For one, my therapist lives far away in downtown LA, which is a nightmare to get to because of all the traffic. Straight up, if my session is at the same time as a Lakers game, I'm like, you know what? I'm in a pretty good place mentally right now. I don't need it. <laughs> And sometimes my therapist will give me homework, but I never really do it. I try to say that my dog ate it, but let's be honest, I'm the only one eating. <laughs> my feelings. <laughs> my therapist does offer FaceTime sessions, which you'd think would be more convenient, but the first time we FaceTimed, she accidentally kept flipping the screen back and forth. She didn't know how to use the microphone. It was a disaster. Eventually, she got so frustrated, she's like, I can't fix this. It was the only time I got to say, how does that make you feel? 